Eu te amo para sempre, meu amor. Você é a mulher da minha vida. Eu te amo para sempre. Right now, I feel excited and a little nervous, so I'm trying not to mess up my words, <laughs> but mostly excited, and I just can't wait to see Leo. Yeah, I'm very excited to start my life with Leo. I feel like we both bring out the best in each other and motivate each other, and we just have the most fun time together and so many good memories. I just know that Leo's gonna be the best husband and we're gonna have the best times together through all the highs and lows of life. I can't be without him. He's my other half. I'm feeling great. I couldn't be more excited and happier. She's just the best day of my life. She's the love of my life and, and uh, I'm the happiest guy in the world. I just knew in the bottom of my heart that she was the one and um, asked her uh, to be my, my fiance and wife and, and that was the best decision I ever made. We just knew that we were meant for each other and how we decide to spend the rest of our lives together. Janessa, all I can say that is I'm, I'm committed to you for life. Whatever we go through, I'm always going to be there for you. So this year, our wedding turned out a little bit differently than we had planned, but we just didn't want to wait another year, and I'm just so happy the way that we're doing things. Janessa, I couldn't be more thankful and blessed that I got to marry you. You're my best friend, and uh, I'm so excited to spend the rest of my life with you. I just am so excited to marry you, and no matter what happens, I'm just excited to get married to you, Leo. We come into your presence today with thanksgiving. So grateful to celebrate the love of Janessa and Leo. Thank you for bringing them together. Thank you for preparing them for not only this moment, but preparing them for a lifetime together. When God created man in his own image, he took the man and he said, it's not good for him to be alone. I'm gonna make a helper that is suitable for him. It was God who instituted this marriage relationship and the institution that we're celebrating today. When the Bible tells you to love your wife as Christ loved the church, then that means that you're going to love her in a selfless way. Uh, to be selfless means that you're looking out for her interests and not just for your own. Just as Jesus came to this earth, always looking out for the interests of other people. One little time is all he says, Janessa, respect your husband. You see, the greatest need that he will have is not just your love, not just admiration, not just affection. Here's what he needs more than anything. He needs respect. And Janessa, there's no one in the world who will help Leo know that he measures up as a man than you. And as an appreciation for your family, the heritage, including grandparents, parents, so many family members that are here, we have the lighting of the unity candle. And then after they have the lighting of the unity candle, they're also going to have their first act together as a married couple. And that's going to be to worship around communion and to remember the body and the blood of the Lord Jesus. From 
promise to love her, protect her, honor her, and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep her only unto you so long as you both shall live. I do. I do. Having entered into this marriage covenant by the pledging of your love and faithfulness to one another, and in giving and receiving of the wedding rings, I do now in the presence of God and these witnesses pronounce you husband and wife, no more two, but one flesh, and what God has joined together, let not man put asunder. Leo, you may kiss your bride. Just how beautiful you look tonight As if you haven't heard me say it about a hundred times You shake your head and look away Stand and keep on staring while I tell you that you're all I need And even though I know you know that I'm a fighting me I'm gonna keep on showing you exactly what I A toast to the bride and groom. We thought things were going to be a certain way, and uh, unfortunately, they've ended up being completely different. My next toast is to the Anjos family, who obviously isn't here today. Even though they're not here, they are with you. Your parents would be very proud of you today. I know how much you miss them and wish they could be here. Leo, thank you for loving my daughter. You are thoughtful and kind, continually looking for ways to make her feel special and loved. You are the son I never had. I'm definitely blessed by you and your example and who you are as people. At the center of all this chaos is our Lord. But never forget that God wants to be intimate with you through this time. Leo's beautiful bride and my beautiful daughter. Since you were a little girl, you have been selfless, caring, and compassionate. I have watched you carry that selfless love right into your relationship with Leo. May you continue to grow in grace and more in love with our Savior and with one another with each passing day. I love you both very much. Here's to Janessa and Leo. We love you. Love you. Cheers. Cheers. When darkness still ensues, I want to be alive. What?